Hi guys, welcome to our channel Physio Vibes Anatomy. This is Ashik. Today we are going to see some interesting topic which is the gluteus maximus muscle. This is one of the largest muscles of our body which is present in the gluteal region that is behind the pelvic bones that is present in the posterior aspect of our pelvic region. So this muscle is a large fleshy muscle which is present in our gluteal region that is the buttock region. So here in this video we will be seeing the anatomy of this gluteus maximus muscle. So let's just start. Here is the outline of what we are going to see. So we will be seeing the introduction of this gluteus maximus muscle. Then we will move on to origin, insertion, nerve supply and action that is the function of this muscle and then we will see the structures under this muscle what are the structures present under this muscle and finally we will end with some clinical notes of the gluteus maximus you can look here this is the most superficial gluteal muscle which forms the prominence of the region here you can look uh, this is the posterior aspect of a pelvic bone pelvic region here this is what the gluteal region we call it as buttock region so this is where the gluteus maximus muscle is present along with other gluteal muscle which are gluteus medius gluteus minimus and tensa fasciae late and this muscle is the most superficial of all other gluteal muscles and this forms the prominence of this region and the next point is this is the large quadrilateral muscle as I said in the beginning it will be the largest muscle of our body and the largest muscle in this gluteal region also and this is a quadrilateral and powerful muscle yes due to the support and function of this muscle only we are standing in the erect posture we are maintaining that erect posture so we'll be seeing about it in detail while we see the function of this muscle and now let's just go to the origin and insertion of this gluteus maximus muscle and guys now we are gonna see the origin of this gluteus maximus muscle before we see uh, let me show you in the picture here you can look uh, actually the gluteus maximus muscle has many points of origin let's just see one by one uh, this is the ilium bone the upper flattened part is the ilium bone of our pelvic bone ilium part so the posterior surface of this ilium from here the muscle comes and from the posterior aspect of the sacrum so it will be like this and from the coccyx also and here you will be having the sacrotuberous uh, ligament which is a ligament present uh, connecting the sacrum bone and the obturator foramen the bone which is near to the obturator foramen so from this ligament also the muscle is coming so this is what the origin so the muscle will be coming like here so we can see the origin first we can see the posterior aspect of ilium sacrum and coccyx as i showed you uh, this is the ilium the posterior aspect of the ilium posterior surface of ilium the sacrum and the coccyx bone the muscle comes and the gluteal surface of the ilium so here you can see this is the here it will be coming a line three gluteal lines will be there so this one is the posterior gluteal line behind this line this surface is known as the gluteal surface of the ilium from here also the muscle originates and the sacrotuberous ligament which i showed you here and from the lumbar fascia also lumbar fascia which will be present here the fascia from that also the muscle is originating
so now we are going to see the insertion of this muscle uh, here you can look this muscle from here it comes to the femur bone and here it will be inserting this is what the gluteal tuberosity which is present in the upper part of the femur bone and here the deep fibers of this muscle goes and inserts and the superficial and the upper fibers goes and inserts into the iliotibial tract this is a band of fascia which will be present here laterally it will be present like this so the muscle the upper fibers most of the fibers goes and inserts in the iliotibial tract so here you can look the deep fibers will be inserting into the gluteal tuberosity which is present in the femur bone and the most of the fibers upper fibers will be inserting into the iliotibial tract which is a band of fascia supporting the bones of the lower limb so let me just show you the picture of origin and insertion and guys you can clearly see the gluteus maximus muscle here which is present along with the other muscles of the gluteal region so here you can look the gluteus maximus muscle so guys i am just showing you the origin and insertion of this gluteus maximus muscle here you can see the gluteus maximus muscle so this is what the gluteus maximus muscle and you can see uh, it comes from the posterior ilium sacrum and coccyx bo bone and inserts into the lesser trochanter of the next one we will be seeing the nerve supply uh, the nerve supply to gluteus maximus muscle is inferior gluteal nerve which is coming from the sacral plexus and the root values are L5, S1 and S2 and the blood supply blood supply to the muscle will be given by superior and inferior gluteal arteries and all these structures will be present under the cover of the muscle which you will be seeing in the notes you can see refer in the book uh, structures under the gluteus muscle there will be muscles, bones, nerves and blood vessels present under the cover of this gluteus muscle now we'll see the actions of this gluteus maximus muscle which is the external rotation it externally rotates the hip joint and extension of the hip this extension of the hip is the main function of this gluteus maximal muscle it extends the hip and it also does abduction and adduction movements and as i said in the beginning it is responsible for the erect posture of our body because of this gluteus maximus muscle only we can stand directly uh, that is erectly straight here you can see the lateral rotation abduction adduction and extension all these four movements are done by these gluteus maximus muscle now finally we will see the clinical anatomy of this gluteus maximus muscle first clinical relevance is paralysis of this muscle if this muscle this gluteus maximus is getting paralyzed we cannot stand directly like we cannot maintain the erect posture if a person is suffering with the paralysis of this gluteus maximus muscle he can't stand up without any support he can uh, hold some chair or some table then only he can get up and get the erect posture then the next thing is testing the muscle uh, this is done by asking the patient to lie in the prone po position then the physician presses the leg of the patient downwards then the patient is asked to extend his hip joint against the resistance which is given by the physician so you can feel the gluteus maximal maximus muscle getting contraction so this is what the clinical anatomy of this gluteus maximus 
muscle so guys today we saw about the gluteus maximus which is the largest muscle of our pelvic region posterior gluteal region so its origin and its insertion and the nerve supply and the action the function of the muscle then finally we saw the clinical anatomy hope you guys hope you guys understood uh, we'll meet in the next video god bless you